Welcome back to the King's Corner, the place for all things Bethesda. I am the King Fan Man with another Fallout 76 Tips video. And if you love Fallout and you're not a subscriber yet to the King Fan Man channel, why not? I talk about Fallout all the time on this channel, so go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell too, so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Today we're going to talk about a subject I'm asked about all the time. It is how to make caps really fast. In fact, we're going to talk about five methods to make 1400 caps a day. Why 1400 caps? Because that is the caps limit that Fallout has put in the game. But if you follow the tips that I give you, you're going to hit that cap limit really, really fast with a lot left over. So buckle up, let's jump right in to these five methods to make 1400 caps a day. Now some of these may sound simple and old hat to some of you veteran players of Fallout 76, but stick with me. Even you guys may find something that will help you along the way if you stick with me till the end. Now the first one on my list actually comes from a tip that I gave during my workshop blueprint video where I told you that you can put water purifiers in between your resource drops. If you will farm purified water, you can sell that purified water for a very high price. Now you can either farm your water this way or you can actually put your water purifiers in a straight line. But either way, using your workshops as a water purifying farm is an excellent way to get caps very, very quickly. Just think of it this way, you have two or three workshops with this many water purifiers running, you can be off doing your quests, doing your events, whatever. You can run those water purifiers two or three times, go to the vendor, I promise you, you have your 1400 caps made with two or three trips. That's how quick purified water will get you the 1400 caps. Number two on our list, to be honest, I've just begun to do this and it is using Butcher's Bounty perk card and really getting serious about cooking meat. And I do it mostly with defending workshops. I've really been working at going to the workshops and when the waves of enemies come, I make sure I have that perk card Butcher's Bounty on. I make sure it's leveled up to number three and I look for Mire Lurks or any of the aquatic animals because those are the most expensive meats and if you can get those to come in especially if you have three or four waves you are going to make so many caps and listen to me I'm serious you will make your 1400 caps probably with one workshop and a lot of people I've told that they don't believe it but yes you can make your 1400 caps defending one workshop if you will use butcher's bounty and then you'll use super duper cooking the food it is amazing so don't leave animals laying many times people just kill the animals and leave them there laying pick up the meat and cook it there's so many meats that are very very expensive death claw meat any glowing meat glowing meat is so expensive you get 10 glowing meat that is a hundred caps but if you use butcher's bounty and the super duper you're going to get great xp and a lot of caps so take advantage of your perk cards and cooking the meat and you'll find yourself with a lot more caps and a lot more xp and i promise you you'll get those 1400 caps a lot quicker than you've ever dreamed possible the next one on our list is one of my very favorites and I've been doing this since the very beginning of the game. In fact, you get the recipe for this one on the second mission of the game. It is healing salve and it's a very simple recipe. It is soot flour, blood leaf, and boiled water. Three simple ingredients that are found everywhere starting out from vault 78 now healing salve can be used for exactly what it sounds like for healing you and it works just about like a diluted stim pack and it's worth about the same amount of money 
a little more actually 50 diluted stim packs are worth 200 caps 50 healing salves are worth 250 caps now 50 may sound like a lot of soot flower and blood leaf to pick up and find but it's not if you use the right perk card and you know the right areas to look the perk card green thumb is absolutely essential because it doubles every soot flower and blood leaf that you pick up so without question get the perk card green thumb and equip it and you can get it starting at level four like i said i've been doing this since the very start of the game as for the areas you want to look for blood leaf loves the wetlands and soot flowers hang out in the forest two areas i would recommend one is just north of point pleasant which is a secret place of mine but i guess it's not secret anymore and one is just east of flatwoods along the dry riverbed there is both blood leaf and soot flower in both locations in very heavy concentrations you can make your 1400 caps a day on just healing salve alone now since we're at the halfway point if there is a halfway point with a top five list i want to give you a few things for free number one make sure you have your hard bargain perk card leveled up all the way if you want to get the best prices at the vendor now that's a no-brainer, but just make sure you have it leveled up all the way. Also, if you want the best prices you can possibly get at the vendor, there is a Kim Grape Mintats. Take Grape Mintats right before you go up to the vendor and you will get much better prices from the vendor. Also, if you happen to have the Charisma Bobblehead, it will also give you better prices from the vendor just a few extra tips from me to you all right here we go with number four there are a few special events in fallout 76 that you can actually make 1400 caps in one event now that may sound crazy but it's absolutely true and there are events that are for high level players and low level players that you can do this one of these events is uranium fever now this is more of a high level player event you will get legendary drops many more than one sometimes up to four legendary drops in this event now it's important you must pick up every weapon now you're going to be way overweight but the good news is there is a train station right by this event but you're going to get some very high priced weapons you're going to get glowing meat which we've already covered which is one of the most high priced meat and trust me you're going to make more than the 1400 caps you're going to run out of caps with this one event it is amazing so when you see uranium fever pop up on your map you need to go and pick up everything and say i've made my 1400 caps for the day now if you're still fairly new to fallout 76 there is a very good event to do this same thing with at the morgantown airport it's called collision course now you may not make your 1400 caps because the weapons aren't going to be as high priced but there's still a vendor right there across the street at the morgantown airport and you're going to get a lot of weapons because there's going to be five waves of scorched that come at collision course that's a lot of weapons now if you need the caps certainly go ahead and sell all those plus you can clear out all of the scorch at the airport and inside the airport but also remember you can also scrap all those weapons for the mods as well i know this is a video on making caps but remember also if you're a new player you also need those mods as well so just keep that in mind as well but back to making caps pick up everything and you can just walk them right across don't worry about being overweight five waves of enemies pick up everything and walk them straight across and sell them at the vendor that's a lot of weapons to sell 
And when we're talking about events, this will work with any event. Look for events where there is a vendor very close, and that is where you can make your 1400 caps with one event because you can pick up everything. You don't have to worry about being overweight. That brings us to our final number five. Now, if we can look for events that are close to vendors, why can't we look for enemies that are close to vendors, especially enemies that have those high-priced weapons and valuables? One such place is Harper's Ferry. Of course, Harper's Ferry has its own vendor, so we don't have to walk anywhere. And yes, it is full of enemies. Now remember, Harper's Ferry not only has all of the enemies in the town, it also has the burrows underneath. So this place is literally full. And when I'm talking about high value, you're looking for things not like the hunting rifle. You're wanting the combat shotgun. You're wanting the assault. You're wanting things that go for high prices at the vendor. And by the way, this is also an excellent place to go for XP. Just one run through Harper's Ferry is a lot of XP. It's also an excellent place to go to drop a nuke as well. Now, there are also great places to go for lower level places. Camden Park, now it's not for a beginner, but it's a good place for a lower level player than say Harper's Ferry and Camden Park also has a vendor in the park and it is full of scorched. It also has bobbleheads. It also has a daily event. It's full of everything you could ask for. Both of these places you're going to make a lot of caps. So if you're wanting to make caps, hit both of these places and you don't have to go anywhere to sell the items. The vendors are right there. Well, I hope you got something out of this video that helped you just a little bit, but stay right where you're at because you're about to see some of the best Fallout 76 picks that there are out there. And hey, if you want your Fallout 76 picks featured in my videos, all you have to do is put a hashtag KingFanMan on your pics when you post them on social media. That's it, and I would love to feature them in my next videos. Hey, be sure and check all my links down below. I have Discord, and I would love for you to get involved with the King Fan Man community because I have the best subscribers on YouTube. I believe it. They are so sweet and so wonderful. Also, if you do not follow me on Twitter, that's where I do most of my social media, be sure and follow me. But I also have Facebook as well. And if you would like to become a true partner with me and my channel and really, really help me, that is by being a Patreon. And my Patreons have some very special opportunities and benefits. They get to be moderators on my live streams, on my KingCast. They get to come on my KingCast and even come on my live streams as well and many, many other things. So if you would like to think about becoming a Patreon, check out my Patreon page. That link is down below. I am the King Fan Man. I hope to see you guys in the wastes of West Virginia. Bye, guys.